guys what's up thank you so much for clicking on the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe click the notification bell and today we are going to be making this cute easy pearl beaded bag with just one pack of beads yes guys if you have one pack of beads you can make this bag i have a similar tutorial on how to make another pearl bag with one pack of beads i'm going to link it down in the description box and for the beads we are going to be using 60 millimeters i have my um, 0.8 millimeter fishing line and uh, six millimeters um gold beads so you're just going to cut your fishing line and on one end you're going to um, put four pearl beads like so then cross with the fourth bead then you are going to pick up one pearl bead on the left one pearl bead on the right then you are going to cross with um the third pearl bead so you are going to be making circles of four like so so you repeat the process you put one pearl bead on the left one pearl bead on the right fishing line then you cross with the third pearl bead like i said we're making circles of four and when you have three we are going to make the fourth one and this fourth one is going to be a turn so you're going to take one end of the fishing line and you're going to insert all three beads into that same fishing line then you are going to cross with the third pearl bead like so so this is a turn as you can see your fishing line is now facing the side and not upward you're going to take the fishing line which is on your right or the one that is facing upward pick up three pearl beads again then you are going to cross with the third pearl bead so this is the second turn and this turn um, starts row number two so this is how it looks like now with the fishing line on your right hand i'm going to insert it into the next bead from the previous row take the other fishing line then i am going to um, put two beads there and i'm going to cross the second bead Guys, I'm sorry if I'm talking strange. I have serious cough, so I apologize. Then you're just going to continue the process. You're going to insert your fishing line into the next bead from the previous row. Then the other fishing line, you're going to pick up two beads and cross with the second. Now, when you get to the edge of the work like this, you're just going to take the fishing line on your right, pick up two beads, then you are going to cross with the um, second bead like so. So our fishing line is now facing the side then we're going to continue with the fishing line facing upwards or on the right you're going to insert three pearl beads then you're going to cross with the third pearl bead and that is going to start row number three then with the fishing line which is facing your work you're going to in go into the next pearl bead from the previous row and the other fishing line is going to pick up beads so you're going to continue doing this until you have a total of eight a total of eight rows like so so this is going to be a four by eight side of a bag i'm just trying to complete um the last one right here just like that then we are going to um, have our fishing line facing in this um, direction. Our fishing line facing direction. Now we want to shift our fishing line to the second bead. Like as you can see, the two fishing lines are coming out of the first bead. Now we want it to come out of the second bead. So the fishing line on my right is going to go downwards, like so. Downwards is going to move to the left. Then it's going to go upwards so this is called a decrease by the way then the fishing line on my left is going to go downwards then you're going to pull both fishing lines together and that fishing line which is down is going to move to the left upwards and then it is going to move back to the right like so the other fishing line which is upward already is simply going to move to the left so this is this keeping one bead forms a decrease now with the fishing line facing away from your work you're going to pick up three pearl beads like so three pearl beads and you're going to cross with the pearl bead just like that then you're going to insert um the fishing line which is close to your work you're going to insert into the next 
per bead from the previous row like so as you can see that's a decrease is giving some sort of a slanted look then the other fishing line is going to pick up two beads and we're going to cross with the second bead so you're just going to continue the regular pattern insert your fishing line into the following bead like so until you get to the last but one bead and you're going to tie off there and end your work so this is what your base is going to look like those two slanted points then i've already done one end of the top so i'm going to do the other so you're just going to go into the second bead on the top then you're going to insert your fishing line pick up three beads cross with the third bead guys if you don't understand what i'm saying please just watch i believe you can follow the um tutorial even without my voice then you're just going to take the fishing line which is facing out of your work pick up two beads and you're going to cross like so and the fishing line is going to be facing upwards now like so then we are going to take the other fishing line and we're going to pick up three beads and cross with the third bead so this is basically a decrease too but this decrease is from the inside to the outside the decrease at the bottom was from like was moving towards the inside of the bag but this one is moving towards the outside so this is what it's supposed to look like and obviously you're going to make two of this for your front and your back or yeah the front or the back or the sides of your back whatever you want to call it so when you have two you're just going to insert your fishing line into one bead at the corner pick up one pearl bead then insert your fishing line into the other bead of the other side of your back pick up one pearl bead again then we are going to cross so we are basically just joining the back at this stage so we have just crossed with our one pearl bead right there we're going to continue the same process insert your fishing line the right fishing line into the following bead at the side the left fishing line is going to do the same thing insert it at the side like so then you are going to pick up one pearl bead and cross so i'm just going to let you guys watch this hey guys if you're new to the channel welcome we do beads only on this channel anything beads related we do it on the channel so if you have anything that any request they want me to do please make sure you send me a picture on my instagram and please please make sure you subscribe turn on that notification bell guys subscribing is free turning on the notification bell is free so that you will be the first to know when i upload a new tutorial and to my, all my old subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for the love and support i appreciate you guys so much may god continue to bless all of you so here i am at the decrease place there is really nothing strange to do here you're just going to follow the beads but it is going to move in a staircase sort of manner or in a zigzag sort of manner so just make sure that you are matching all the beads or on each side to the respective um beads so just make sure that when you're joining you're matching them perfectly then you're going to join your entire back the same way so this is what it's going to be looking like guys if you've been watching my channel for a long time now you know i do not condone weak bags like if if your bead bag is looking weak no 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 i do not condone that sort of thing so i try as much as possible to pull my work when i'm doing it or even use a larger fishing line so that my bag is going to be sturdy and firm so we are going to work on this bag if you don't have a sturdy fishing line i have tutorials on my channel on how to make your bag to be more firm so you can check them out so i just completed the sides and tied everything off as you can see your phone can even enter inside just one pack of beads guys you guys need to make this bag so go ahead and tuck in your yarn i have a tutorial on how to do that i can link it in the description box as well now this is totally optional because in this tutorial i said one pack of beads only but if you want to add some nice shiny little things you are going to add these gold beads here so i'm just simply measuring my fishing line i like to make it longer than i actually need it 
so I'm going to insert both um, one end of my fishing line into the top bead right there I'm going to grab my um, six millimeters gold beads right there then I'm just going to be inserting one bead into each end of the fishing line one bead into the right side of the fishing line one bead into the left side then I am simply just going to be waving in my fishing line downwards now guys this method not only adds um, adds some sort of decoration to your back but moving um adding an ex an extra fishing line to your already done back is going to help to strengthen it it's going to help you to make it nice and firm by the time we are done with this entire process you are going to compare you're going to see for yourself the difference between when we have put the gold beads when when we have not put the gold beads yeah so you're just going to insert your fishing line downwards we are working only downwards in this part we're not going to cross we're moving only downwards yeah so when you have put your fishing lines downwards you're just going to pick up two gold beads again put one in the left fishing line one in the right fishing line and insert that fishing line in the downward motion so this is what you're going to do basically for the entire bag so the entire bag needs to have this um there's a possibility of doing this of adding this gold bead while you are beading but i just prefer to do mine after okay so don't worry you guys can figure it out anyway i'm going to show you guys because i use the same method on the handle of adding the gold beads as you go so when it's time to make the handle of the back i'm going to show you guys how to um do it so i'm just inserting one gold bead one gold bead until we get to the um until we finish the entire back basically so we're going to go right to the back then we are going to um, move to the next side just like so if your fishing line is still long all I'm going to tell you guys is that you should maneuver your fishing line like take it around like you're going to see me do it here I'm just going to move my fishing line around like so until I get to a point where I need to start another row of adding gold beads so when i'm done with one row i make sure i tie it off completely first before i use the excess fishing line to continue the next row so it's a very simple process so just go ahead and if you want to do it um from left to right you can do it if you want to do it from top to bottom that is fine also it's very easy so i did the entire bag and this is how it's looking beautiful lovely yeah so um I'm going to work on the handle now tell me what you guys think about this bag leave me a white and gold heart if you have reached this point of the tutorial so we're going to do the handle and this is where i'm going to explain how to add the gold beads while you are working so i already have two gold beads showing at the bottom so all i'm going to do is to add two pearl beads like so then two gold beads then i'm going to cross with the pearl bead so basically if you want to add your gold beads you're going to add the gold beads only before you're about to cross okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to simply add two pearl beads then i'm going to add two gold beads then i'm crossing so the gold beads are going to be touching the bead that is that you're going to use to cross that is how you add the gold beads as you um work as you do your bag so if you want to use this method that is fine if you want to add the gold beads later when you're done with the bag that is also fine any method works perfectly yeah so um i'm just going to continue the handle i'm not going to lie I had a set of double beads I'm sure you guys know double beads like when two beads are joined together so I was like almost having a shortage 
but I worked around it. I even made a tutorial on how to um, separate double beads. Like, you know, when you just need like a few beads to complete the project and those two beads are joined together. I have that tutorial on how to separate it. So make sure you check out that tutorial. So um, when you're done, you're simply going to cross like so. Then I want to make the mouth of my bag to be a little bit more firm so it's not going to be um, weak. I forgot to mention guys, for the handle I had 10 rows. Don't forget 10 rows for the handle. I did 10 of those beads at the side for the handle. And that actually completed the entire packet of um, the beads. So this place, this what I'm doing right now is optional. But I'm simply tying the um, back at the corner. I did the same thing when I was doing the other pearl bag. But I'm simply just tying it together so that it is going to sit more upright and look more firm. Yeah, so like I said, it's optional. You really don't need to do it because the back was still looking fine. But for me, I just like a sturdy beaded back. So when you're done, obviously, you're just going to tuck in all your excess fishing line and repeat, if you want, the same thing on the other side. And when you do that, you are basically done with your bag. You have this nude, be wow, I can't talk anymore. You have this cute, beautiful bead bag that you can use for weddings, girls' day out, outings. And this is just a little video of me styling it. So I did this nine beaded back video with one dress. So I have this one dress that I styled with nine beaded bags that I made. All nine tutorials are going to be on the channel and I'm going to be linking them in each um, video's description box. So make sure you stay tuned to check them out. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!